hey what is up you guys so guess who's back I'm back I'm never leaving you again I'm back for good and I would like to explain myself since I'm back um I left you guys like five months ago was when I posted my last video and that was like last year so I was trying to have a schedule which if you guys have watched me before if you guys have seen my recent videos it was I was trying to upload every Tuesday but that was stressing me out and I felt like I couldn't do it so that's why I stopped making videos like for the longest time like I said it's been five months and yeah but I'm back now I'm back I'm never gonna leave you again I promise but yeah welcome back and thank you to whoever subscribed while I was gone because I was expecting like less subscribers than what I already had but like thank you so much and thank you even before like when you subscribe when I first started this channel does that make sense if you know what I mean I hope you know what I mean anyway today I am going to do my favorites video and there's a few things just you know I haven't seen you guys in a while so I have kind of a lot I want to show you so I don't know how short or long this video is gonna be and sorry for the glare in my glasses it's nighttime right now and I'm it's my lamp I'm trying to have some light in here anyway let's get started so I have I have a few makeup products I have some food I have purses I have um, clothes jewelry makeup I have a few things here and there so yeah let's get started with what should we get started with let's get started with the clothes so it's it's we're in spring it's spring so some of these clothes are from winter but I haven't seen you guys in a while like I keep saying but yeah some of these clothes are from winter and I have this I don't know what this is called I hope you guys like this video because I haven't done this in a while so I'm kind of out of it but I have this if have you seen back to the future if you've seen back to the future you know Marty McFly kind of wears something like this with his um, jacket but yeah it's really warm and cozy and I really like it I got this from by the way I don't know how much any of this stuff was so yeah but I got this from I think I got it from the Gap store. Yeah, I got it from Gap. But yeah, it's just black. There's zippers. There's a zipper and then there's some buttons. But yeah, it's really cute and it's cozy. Okay, the next thing I have, I've always wanted a jacket like this. Sorry if you can't like, I wish you could see the whole thing, but yeah. I have this jacket. I got this from a store called Image. And yeah, I got this. It's like black and white if you can see or black white and gray but yeah it's this really long cozy jacket there's some pockets right here and a few buttons I usually don't button it but you can if you want to it's pretty long it probably goes like right above my knee but this is like it doesn't look like it like warm you up but it actually does it warms you up really good on a cold day I got this shirt from a store called Image. And it, like when you put it on like this part, it goes up to the neck. So yeah, the neckline. And yeah, it's just like a light pink color. It's actually really comfortable. Like I would wear this to bed, honestly. But it's really cute. It's a light pink color, like I said. I got it from Image. And yeah. And then I got this from Image. It may seem like I go to Image a lot, but I don't. But I got this, and I don't, I personally don't button it up, but you can if you want to, but I don't. But yeah, this is like something casual for like a normal uh, day, you know? So, yeah. And then I got this from, actually, I think I got this from Image too. Yeah, but I don't button this up either because I just don't like to, but it's like striped plaid, not plaid, but I don't know. You can tell though, there's a little pocket right here, and it's really like nice and thin and flowy, so like if, even if it's warm, like you could wear it, and yeah, I really like it. The next thing is this dress, and I have more than I thought I did, 
but um this i got i got this it says it on the tag it's a dress it's a gray dress i got it from old navy it's actually really cute and really cozy and um yeah i really like it i've never really had any dresses because either i find dresses and they just don't fit me or i find dresses and they're just too fancy than what i'm looking for so yeah, I found this. I got it from Old Navy. It's gray. It's really cozy. I really like it. And then I got kind of the same thing as that one from Old Navy. And it, it's just in black. I got it in black. It's just really cozy and comfortable. It goes like, I don't know. I probably said this. It goes right above my knee. And then I also got this last dress from Old Navy. And it's really cute. It's, it's different. It's something like I wouldn't usually wear, but what I want to start wearing. It's this really cute flowery dress, if you can see right there. Yeah. It's really cute. It's really flowy. And I love it. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see a picture of me in this sometime soon, when it starts getting warmer in California. But yeah, I got those dresses from Old Navy. And then I got this shirt from G Stage. And it's really cute. I mean, obviously, I have to take the tag off and iron this so it stays up. But it's like really thin and flowy. I'm just describing everything as thin and flowy, aren't I? Anyway, yeah. It's just black. And this is like, I don't even know, like, but this looks like that. And it's really cute. I like the colors. Casual day you can wear it for a casual day and then I don't know if this is never mind okay I have three more shirts to show you the heck is that oh no <laughs> I have three more shirts to show you I got this from Torrid yeah I got this from Torrid and it says attitude is everything and it's just a thin and flowy <laughs> thin and flowy t-shirt and I really like it. It's been my go-to t-shirt lately. I love it. And then, let's put that over here. <laughs> and then I have this shirt that I got from... I don't know. I think I got this from Image. But it's this really cute shirt. It's, it's just plain black and I don't think you can see it but like like a little decorative design right here. I hope you can see it. If you can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and then I got this um, plaid long sleeve flannel. It's purple, blue, gray, white. Yeah, it's really comfy. This also has been my go-to shirt too. <gasps> and it tore. Dang it. It's okay. I'll sew it. But yeah, I have this. It's really cute and it's really nice. Anyway, that's all the clothes that I have. Let's move on to purses. So, this purse, I kind of messed it up because <laughs> it's all like bent and ugly now. But it was really nice when I first got it. I got this purse. See, it has a long strap and then like a. Sh you could take the long strap off and just carry it with the short strap, but I like keeping both on. So, I got this purse from Payless. And it's really cute. I fell in love with it when I first saw it. There is a zipper right here. And then there's two like pockets on the side. And then inside it's like a huge pocket with really no zipper. And like the pocket sizes are pretty good. You could fit a lot in here. So yeah, I got this from Payless. I recommend <laughs> if you're like looking for a casual purse. And then I also got this. When it comes to purses, me and my mom kind of have, we like the same style. So we share these purses. And this one has a long strap and it looks like this. And I really love this look in a purse. I mean, it's casual. It's casual and cute, if you know what I mean. But yeah, you can't fit too much in here. But you can fit like just enough. Like if you're just running like to the store real fast, you need like something oh no <laughs> I'm not good at explaining things but yeah I really like it I got this from 
I got this from Forever 21. Next purse is uh, this one. I also got from Forever 21. It's like, here, it may look white to you, but it's not. It's like a tan cream color. And there's one strap to it, and there's this strap. You can like tighten the purse because there is no zipper or button on the top. It's just open, so you can tighten this to make it like tighter. But yeah, I got this from Forever 21. I really like when the purses have like these on the bottom of them because then it won't mess up the bottom as much like if you have to put your purse on the floor that's what I really like about purses the next purse I got okay these next two purses I got are from forever 21 just so I don't have to keep saying it yeah they're from forever 21 this purse is I use this purse mainly for school not really to go out anywhere but it's really big and it's really good and there's these zippers on both sides that's so if you like need a bigger purse you can unzip them and it will make it bigger See? so yeah and then there's a button up here and it's a good amount of room in here there's like two pockets inside so yeah if you need to carry a lot of stuff one day then it's really good to have this purse. I love this purse. My mom wants the purse too. And then this is my favorite purse. This is a purse not everyone may like. Like this is a style everyone may not go for, but I am in love with it. It's like kind of square and it's really cute and I love it. And it's just been my favorite purse lately. There's like one kind of big pocket inside and then there's a zipper pocket. But yeah, this, the inside, like, since the sides of the purse go in, you can't fit too much in here. But with, like, my other, pur the other purses I showed you, if you're not carrying, like, a lot, then you can just carry this purse, you know? So the next is a book. Because there's only one book I have to show you. So, there's two books I actually have to show you but my friend Rosie I let her borrow the other one so I really can't show you it so the book she has it's called Eleanor Park it's like a teenage love story and I really like it if you like love stories then I really recommend it because it's like it's a really cute book and um this book my friend Skylar got me for Christmas I think it's called Fangirl this book and Eleanor and Park are by the same author. I think you pronounce it Rambo Raoul. I don't know though. Rowell? I don't know. But yeah, she makes some great books. I am loving this book. I would explain the books to you, but I'm not good at explaining things. And when I do explain things, then it takes a few minutes. So if you want to know what these books are about, then I encourage you to look them up. The first one was called Eleanor and Park, and this one is called Fangirl. Okay? Yeah. So, the next thing I'm going to I don't know what to show you. Like, these last few things. Well, it's not a few. It's a lot. But I'm really excited to show you some of this. This video is really long. Um, I'll show you the jewelry. So, all this jewelry I'm about to show you is from Claire's. Um... If you don't have a Claire's, I guess a similar store could be I. I've only seen i seen stores, though, in Arizona, so I don't know. But I got it from Claire's. But um, I got these little, like, pearls. And they come in different sizes. Like, here you can see, like, they go from bigger to smaller, you see? But yeah, I really like these. I like pearl earrings. They're kind of classy and cute. And then I got these earrings. From Claire's. I'm gonna show you one. I'm gonna scoot closer to the camera so I don't think I'm being crazy. Um, I got these earrings from Claire's and it's it looks black but it's a dark blue and then there's like a silver little thing on the side but it's really cute and I'm in love with it. I also got these earrings and they're like basic earrings I guess. But this is what it looks like. I hope it's focusing for you guys. But this is it. It's just a basic earring. And then I, I've never seen an earring like this. It's like the last one I showed you. 
but the side is like really cute it's kind of like a little crown I hope you can see this cuz like I'm in love with this but that's what that looks like yeah yeah it's really cute these are I think these are my favorite right now I like these oh I also got this necklace from Claire's I'm just gonna scoot in a little bit okay I got this necklace and it's a moon I think is right here or right here I don't know either side on the sides there's a moon and then there's a Sun and it's really cute and I've actually really been loving this necklace. okay and I also got this bracelet and I've never seen a bracelet like this I mean I've seen bracelets but like with a little clasp like this like you put it like I don't know I don't know I've just never seen a bracelet like this but there's on this bracelet there's like a little there's a Sun this little moon thing half moon thing if you can see there's like a little a little stone and there's also a star yeah I hope you can see that <laughs> Yeah, I got that. And then, you know what? I lied. I didn't get all this stuff from Claire's. This, I think, I got from Forever 21. Or maybe it was G Stage. I don't know. One of those two, but it's this gold necklace. And on the bottom, it looks like this. I love this necklace. It's really cute. There's a feather, like a little. There's some pearls on, like, a little stone or gem or whatever you call it but yeah it's really cute I love it and these rings I'm gonna be honest with you I don't know why I got them from um okay they're all gold this one is just like a basic ring it's a bow this one's really cute I don't wear this too often though this this one's also a basic ring and it just looks like that and then this one is my favorite ring. Um, I don't know. I've just never seen a ring like this, you know? It's just really cool. Oh, actually, I do know where I got these from. I got these from Torrid. I got these three rings from Torrid. I don't know. I just really like it on. I've never, honestly, I've never seen a ring like this. Next thing, I'm going. Then I got this. It's a charcoal and black sugar polishing mask. I got this from Walmart. They're all they're oh, you can also get this get these at Sally's. There are there are different ones. There's a flower one and there's an avocado one. But I like this one. It works well with my skin. I really recommend this, honestly. It um, I use this like every weekend or every other weekend. Like because I really need it and it helps my skin out a lot. So yeah. And then Okay, you guys, some of you may think I'm weird, some of you may get why I do this, but coconut oil has been my favorite thing. You can, I got this from Walmart, but I think you can get this from any grocery store. It's organic coconut oil, and I know it's like for cooking, but on the back it also says for body usage, you can place the jar in warm water to liquefy and massage into skin or apply to hair for one hour and I have applied it to my hair before for one hour and it really works it makes my hair like I wash it out with shampoo and conditioner and it makes my hair really soft and like if you have frizzy hair it's supposed to calm down the frizz and I feel like it really does do that like when I strain my hair I don't strain my hair a lot but when I do I feel like it really calms down the frizz and when I melt the coconut oil, I also mix it with sugar and I use it as a body scrub so it like takes away some of the dead skin. I use it on my legs and my arms. And I find that it really works, but be careful if you do use this because it could possibly possibly clog your drain. I don't use it as much as I use the face mask, just like maybe like one or two times a month. But yeah, I really recommend this. I also got these hand sanitizers. I got these from Bath and Body Works. And I also got this like little keychain hand sanitizer holder and it's really cute. It has flowers on it. It's really basic. It goes with all the purses I have, basically. And yeah, I had one. I could, I had five hand sanitizers, but I used the first one. So now I only have four to show you. But this one is in Cactus Flower and Coconut. 
and this smells like to me it kind of smells like baby soap like the Johnson and Johnson's baby soap yeah <laughs> and then I got this one and it's the cinnamon spiced vanilla um this is like a warmer scent it does smell like cinnamon and it kind of smells like a syrup then I got this one and it says you're a gem on it and this one smells like I haven't smelled these in a while since like December um this one it's like a sweet flower smell I really like it and then if you guys have not tried like the Japanese cherry blossom like if you haven't tried the sanitizer or the soap or the lotion or the perfume then you need to definitely try it because like I know like almost every girl I meet loves the Japanese cherry blossom and it smells like really good it smells like a cherry blossom you know I don't even know what a cherry blossom smells like <laughs> but I'm guessing this is how it smells and it smells really good I love it every girl like I meet she loves this or a guy whatever no gender roles here anyway yeah, I got those from Bath and Body Works. Now, the last thing is makeup. So, okay. So, I've I you I've used this before, but I forgot about it. But I found it again. I got this from Ulta. It's the Buxom. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it's the Buxom, and I don't think it really says the color. It just says names, and it's like. Instead of saying like pink or like sunset or something like that, something crazy like that, it actually says people's names. Like one says Brianna, and this one I got in my name, obviously, it says Jessica on the bottom. And it's like really cool, and the color is really cute. It's a pink color. I'll show you it right now. It's kind of a dark pink color. I love it. Like I said, I got this from Ulta. That's the color. It's not as bright as it looks on the camera, but but it's pretty cute. It's a pink color. Yeah, I got this from Ulta. All of this stuff I'm showing you right now, I got from Ulta. Or I got from Walgreens. I'll let you know if I got it from Walgreens. This next thing I have is, um, what is this called? Eyelid Primer. I used this before I put on my eyeshadows and it's from Benefit. It's the Air Patrol. I got this from Ulta and it actually works really good. I've tried a lot of eyelid primers and this one is by far my favorite. So I really recommend this. And then I got this. Um, the Roller Lash Benefit Mascara and I'm actually wearing it. Probably can't tell. <laughs> But yeah, this is how like the little bottle looks. That's how it looks. And I don't know, I really like this mascara. I feel like it like separates my lashes really good and it gets them to the long length that, that, that I want them to get to. And this is like the little bristle brush. It's kind of bent if you can tell at the top, which I think helps with making my lashes look longer. But yeah, I really recommend this. Sorry if I keep shaking, my back is kind of hurting. But yeah, I really recommend this. I got it from a different fun color on the bottom. So I just started using con um, this concealer because I don't really wear, wear like foundation. I just wear powder, but with my acne scars, I was like a little embarrassed. So I got a concealer. And it's from, it's from Benefit, the Boing Benefit Concealer. And... O2 and it really works. I use it with um, this brush. It's the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. This is how the brush looks and I really like it for this concealer. The brush spreads the concealer out really good. I got these from Ulta. But yeah. Boing. Real Techniques. <laughs> and then let's see. I got this blush. I just, like, I stuck to one blush for a long time and it was sparkly and I didn't like it and it was red. And this is from Benefit Rock Rockator, I think that's how you pronounce it. I really like this. It's a light pink color and it is kind of sparkly, but not as much as the little mirror right there. And here is a brush. It's a tiny brush. It fits inside. And this is it. 
it's all it's a light pink color on the inside I don't know if you can see it see it, it says rock but yeah I really like this one I got this from Ulta sure sorry if I keep repeating myself and tell you a few times that one thing is from Ulta my bad and then I got these I got all three of these lipsticks from Walgreens okay so this one is Revlon okay it's Revlon and it is in 027 Juicy Papaya. It is kind of an orange color and I know what you're thinking, like why would you get orange? But it's not like the orange, like the kind of orange you think it would be. It's just like a light pinky orange, I guess. Um, this is it. No, not that one, <laughs> this one. <laughs> this is the Juicy Papaya color. I really like it. It looks really nice on. It's more of a spring summertime color. And this one, it's um I don't know who this is by, but the number is 945 Stormy Sahara and it's a nude color. I'm actually wearing it. Yeah, you can't tell, right? Cuz it's nude. But I really like this just for like a casual kind of day. Like if I want to wear something on my lips, but I don't want it to look like I'm wearing something on my lips, I wear this. This is it. It's a nude color. It may not look nude, but I promise you it's nude. But that's it. And then this last lipstick I have to show you. It is in 680 Mesmerizing Magenta. When it comes to pink, I'm a little scared to try it because certain pinks don't look good on me. But I really like this pink. It's... It's... It would be daring to some girls to try it because it's like really dark and like if you put it on like people will be, will be able to tell that you're wearing it. But I really like it. It's really cute. It's kind of out of my comfort zone but I think that's why I like it. <laughs> so yeah. Okay guys, so that is it for this week's video. Um, I hope you had fun looking at all the stuff I like showed you. I hope you had fun watching me color on myself all right here. It actually looks really pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and j before I forget, um, like I, I think I said in the beginning of the video, I will not be uploading every Tuesday. I will be uploading every week, just not on a certain day because like I said, trying to upload on a certain day just stresses me out. But I promise you guys will be getting a video every week. I just don't know when. If you want to know, I will let you guys... If you want to know, you can follow me on my Twitter. And I will let you guys know there. The, the links to my Twitter and my Instagram are down below in the description. So, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Hmm. I probably am. I don't know if I am. I'll put it down below in the description. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I will see you next week. Bye!